Uh, this video is still on the chapter of divisibility in integral domains. In the previous video, we saw the concept of associate, irreducible, and prime. Uh, we are going to see now a very important theorem that says prime implies irreducible. So the theorem says in an integral domain, every prime is irreducible. And in this video, we do the proof for that. So let us suppose we have A and A is a prime in an integral domain. Uh, okay, do not forget what prime what prime means. You can check the previous video for that. So a prime number is a number that if a, if we can factor a, the prime number, in bc, it implies that either a divides b or a divides c. That's what a prime is. And by hypothesis, a is a prime. Okay, that's what we have. And this here in red is what we want to prove. Because if we want to prove that if it is a prime, then it is irreducible. So, so we pick A and we say that A equals uh, this BC. So we have to prove, that's what is in red here, that that implies that A is irreducible. Recheck the previous video to see what irreducible is. The previous video and many other videos. Irreducibility means that if A equals BC, either B or C is a unit. Okay. Now, if... Um, uh, let us say... So A is prime. A equals BC, so it implies that uh, either A divides B or A divides C. I'm going to, to say that A divides B, okay, without loss of generality. If A divides C, it's the same argument. So A divides B, meaning if I pick B and divide it by A, I'm going to get some value. I'm going to call it T. Okay, so I'm going to write this in this way, b equals a t. Okay, but a is, um, a is prime in an integral domain, so a equals b c. So I'm going to replace a by b c. Right. Okay. But we are in an integral domain. So we can apply associative laws. Right. Okay. And this is an integral domain. So uh, these b's, they will cancel. Right. So we get 1 equals ct. Well, if 1, if c times t equals 1, t will be the inverse of c. So c is a unit. We just proved that c is a unit. c has an inverse, so c is a unit. And this concludes the proof, right? If a is a prime number, that implies that a is irreducible. Okay, if A equals BC, so it implies that A, either A divides B or A divides C due to the fact that it is a prime, that's by hypothesis, and we just proved that if that happens, A is irreducible because we just proved that C is a invertible element or a unit, and that concludes the proof. So, in an integral domain, every prime is irreducible.